Number one, I think our student experiences need to be greatly improved. For example, Montgomery County does not have strong systems of curriculum, but particularly science, uh, social studies, as well as world languages. We can absolutely strengthen those. I think additionally, our children need to be experiencing um, much more enrichment experiences, field trips, and lots of extra school activities have not come back after COVID, so we need to bring those back. I'm a physician and I own a clinic in Bethesda, so I have, I've worked there almost 15 years now. So I have a lot of experience in healthcare and, and business, and um, I want to just make some improvements for the district and the county um, in those areas uh, specifically. I'm one of the circuit court judges that are on the ballot. One of the top four that have been vetted, background checked, um, had 13 interviews with associations and then with a the commission and then ultimately the governor's office. And we're asking everybody to vote for the first four because they were the ones that have been vetted, background checked. And we're nonpartisan, so we have bipartisan support across the aisle, both sides endorse the sitting judges. I've been practicing law for over 32 years. I'm a veteran, and the reason why I am a candidate for judge is because Maryland incarcerates a higher percentage of its young black males than any other state in the country. I would like to have a race-neutral judicial system where somebody comes in and they're judged based on what they've done instead of who they are, and that's why I'm a candidate for judge.